banana. Yeah, there's banana you... flavor, like the yeast produced that banana flavor, so you can taste that. Oh yeah, flavor. I did that in Ocam. Well, you guess... made banana laffy taffy out of yeast. Out of beer? No. Oh. I guess <laughs> drinking this beer is gay now. Does beer or does banana have yeast in it? No, no, it's just the it same just produces flavors. the flavor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, the flavors artificial. are mostly just fucking aromatic compounds. Why yeah. does bread and... taste like bananas then? Uh, Unless it's it. banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not the yeast that tastes like bananas. It's the yeast that produces compounds oh, from well, the grain. Well, now you're changing your tune Whoa, a little okay. bit. <laughs> Moving goalposts with this science <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> then it stands to reason that if Kinda you make bread it back. <laughs> using yeast, then it would have those compounds in it. Maybe. But it's not fermented. Fermented. Oh, okay. Ferment. All right, well. Fermented. Welcome to the Brown Bricks podcast, the most amount of fun you can have while listening to a podcast. The most. The most. Fermented you can be. I'm fermented, bro. Oh. (laughs) I think of that stealing. Starting out strong today. A lot. I want to steal a little banana sandwich. You, you should. So I can make a Why peanut not? butter and banana sandwich. I do you not just like have fruit lying around? No. Oh, I had some apples that I didn't eat for weeks, and I oh. tried to eat one. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's, that's not good. That's what sucks about being a college student is that you can't like buy anything that goes bad within like three days because. Yeah. Uh, unless you're like making it. something that night with those ingredients, if you buy celery, because I used to love to eat mm-hmm. celery, but now I can't because whenever I have it, I'll eat like half of it in like two days, and then the rest will just be bad immediately. And so mm-hmm. I'm like, well, this sucks. Unless I like freeze it, but then <laughs> celery's gross. Like, hey, that. just buy less fucking celery. That's a idiot. good point. They only come in like that size. I can't. You can't buy like single stalks of celery. Find a celery friend. <laughs> celery friend. Yeah. Somebody None of my roommates like celery. celery. Everyone makes fun of me for like celery it. and peanut mm. butter like on the side. Then it's every single person that I know. Well, well wait. You gotta be but, like a. But mom that's that's the same thing I was going to do. Oh. I was eating the celery regardless. Well, just by itself. Yeah. The fuck. Okay. Why does everyone yeah, say this? I remember I you spend it's... more calories eating it than it comes in it. Exactly. You'll lose that's, weight. Okay. That's why. <laughs> it's so, just weird. So it, I started... It's not a pleasurable experience. No, it's celery is okay. Yeah, I don't fine. think I like it as much as Jack. I'll be honest. Yeah. No, I like it. But because... I can appreciate his love for it's celery. Good fiber. Yeah, I like it. It's good fiber. It's like good, pretty good, good for you. Fiber. And also, it's just easy because like whenever I want to like snack on something and I want, I just want to like put things in my mouth like a fucking animal i just grab celery instead and that's better for me than like, like grabbing a chip me and diet coke where it's exactly like, hey, not a lot of calories yeah diet coke you can <laughs> consume it all day long no issue phineas's blood is 30 percent aspartame at this point yeah um I, <laughs> when i bleed bought... it attracts uh fucking hummingbirds or whatever oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, just they come ants. and they, they come cover by my fingers yeah. and just lick it off yeah I bought groceries for myself for like the first time this week because I was uh, just in my dorm with for all of spring break and I'm like, I don't want to get fast food every That's meal. Fair. Yeah. So I just bought a bunch of shit to make turkey and cheese sandwiches. That's chill. Yeah, it's been pretty nice. I've been eating uh, corned beef leftovers for the past couple of days. Yesterday, all I ate was an entire carton of Ben and Jerry's Americone Dream. <laughs> That's all you ate. <laughs> That's... Not healthy. What the fuck? <laughs> this yeah. is yeah. It's unsustainable. I found a. We'll see. <laughs> you can sustain yourself. It has all the basic food groups. It's got milk, uh, cocoa beans turn into whatever. Yeah. Wheat all... turns into the, the little uh, little cone? tiny chunks of waffle cone. Yeah, it's how, they make it like a Minecraft yeah. recipe. Where they all a few put strands of together. Stephen Colbert's hair. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh. that's where it gets its special flavor. It's that's true. Really yeah, nasty. it's fucking Libcux sensibilities. <laughs> Exactly. I wanted oh, yeah. to get the limited edition Ruth Bader Ginsburg <laughs> <laughs> Ben and Jerry's, ben and Jerry's which ice had cream. her ashes in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was called Ruth Bader Gonsberg, and that was yeah. just the flavor. And uh, Bader Iceberg. Yeah. Raisins and licorice. Ruth. Yeah, raisins and licorice. <laughs> Ruth Berry Yumsberg. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it yeah. just had a guy doing push-ups on the front of the on the front of the like ice cream thing. I don't know what that means, but yes, that's too. Uh, they, there's a guy at Ruth Bader Gonsberg's funeral. Oh yeah, she, he was like, 
<laughs> he just came out and it's like I was the guy who coached her as a gym coach, so I came out and I did twenty push ups with her again. I'm like, that was that's pretty embarrassing. You probably don't wanna do that on like a nationally televised funeral. That's... What if that brought her back to life? She's like, Come on, hustle and she fucking <laughs> snapped back to she it. She could do twenty push ups in a row at the end of her life. She could, yeah. No, she was she was like in pretty good shape relative well, for like, being she old died. as shit. Yeah. Because she was weak. She was weak mentally. <laughs> Your lifespan is measured in how many push ups you can do, so it like rises up and then once it starts going down, like once you get down to like zero, you're almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, how that's, they measure it. That's really that is... that's all doctors check up. <laughs> yeah. They go in there, all right, push ups and they're like three, uh oh. <laughs> you don't got a lot left. Woo! Do you have a will? <laughs> Re, re up you on should, that you should be working on three oil. what three years three decades three, three hours <laughs> oh how much is that um i mean it decays at a different rate for everyone yeah, yeah it's true it's so, so, so really it just doesn't matter sign. like push-ups can mean any amount it's like you could do three push-ups and that could mean 80 years yeah. that could mean i suppose the only claim i'm really making is that when you're dead you can do zero push-ups <laughs> <laughs> not me that not is. me i'm gonna be i'm gonna be doing a lot of them this is true i in hell <laughs> why is that like your is that your eternal train, punishment i gotta train to get out of hell to beat the demon lord yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be pretty cool no no it wouldn't be i like the demon lord he's my friend no he's not <laughs> he's torturing you for he's eternity that's why i get to get in with him i become one of the the barons of hell so you're you're the guy with the the pitchfork stabbing people yeah, I wanna be okay that guy. if you uh if you guys a priest. I'm gonna be How many push ups do you gonna find do. Mitch McConnell and I'm gonna stab him with the pitchfork? What if he's in heaven? What if he did everything right? Damn, that would be fucked up. Do you bro. think that different that'd priests be fucked up world. <laughs> would have different opinions on how many push-ups Jesus could do? Oh, do you think for you sure. could cause a schism? I think you could definitely <laughs> do that, because I think there'd be a lot of priests who are like, well, Jesus, he was like the perfect figure, so he could do infinity push-ups. And then people oh, are like, shit. no, but he's God but, yeah, made into our he's, skin. He's among so, the common man. <laughs> yeah, so I he think... He could do a regular amount of push-ups. He's <laughs> like, no, he'd do above average, for <laughs> yeah. sure, because, you know, he is he's above the common man but he is like a, in perfect pristine and hell someone else comes in he's like he could do slightly less than that because <laughs> yeah. he lived the humble life based it's on true. historical <laughs> records we've determined that jesus did actually do push-ups in the bible yeah it's true and he got mad gains did you, yeah. did you see the one dead sea scroll thing that was just like jesus then said my wife and then it like cut off and my so, wife and so people don't know like people are like jesus had a wife wait this changes <laughs> A lot of things. <laughs> this changes significantly more than we're comfortable with. She just would have said it like, like Borat. My bitch wife. My bitch wife. I'm Jesus, and this is my bitch wife Helga. Did did Borat come from Israel? Yep. Ah. Uh, what would the controversy be like? The last thing that got cut up. Is like, my thirteen true. year old wife. <laughs> my, <laughs> that one's like, oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> no, he said my thirteen year old hot wife. Yeah. And that's like no. My that's... wife who is hot because she is thirteen years old. <laughs> Jesus. Like, no, but that's, that's, that's been like that time, hidden okay? away from everybody, and that's like only when you're the pope you get to see Maybe. it, and you're like, this is why we've been allowing this, this for so long. Why the less little that's boys? It's yeah. like, oh, I see. My 13 year old hot little boy wife <laughs> husband wife <laughs> my, his my pussy little... makes him have a wife like wow well, Jesus to be a sure wife. got a lot of lot of words out before he didn't finish that <laughs> he got cut off a, like a lot got said before that was cut off <laughs> there's there's, we're missing a lot of context and then here. The I guy think. writing the scrolls is like, uh, I gotta stop, right? <laughs> yeah. Jesus, you gotta he just, stop yeah, talking. He just stopped, Are you stopped. sure you want this in the scrolls? He's like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait, you were writing that down. <laughs> Throw it away. Throw Bro, it into the ocean. Ocean. That was work. just fucking locker room time. <laughs> yeah. You gotta grab your 13 year old little boy wife by the bussy. <laughs> Jesus, dying. I'm writing this down on your scribe. Yeah, he's like, a, whatever they're called in the court where they have to write everything down. Uh, oh yeah, the... Transcriber. Tra some, transcriptor. Like and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. We're that time machine, you get we're that? We, we had to really introspect yeah. on that Jesus' bussy comment, so... We, uh, consult, consulted holy leaders on that. And they said, how do you know? How do you... How did... How, how did told you? you? Yeah. 
That's only for the upper cardinals and pope. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the fucking library, the Vatican library. Yeah, yeah they it's... have all these fucking accounts. A library? There's a library? Isn't that a big thing? The Vatican library? Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. The, no, I'm like, sure they the, have a library. Never no, no, it's no, like no, a it's famous a... thing. Yeah, never heard okay, of it. Okay, they keep it. They keep it secret and confidential. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I, I think it would be huh. funny if it's like it's like a famous thing, sure, but there's like five books in there. Like it's like five books, and like three of them are like self help books that he hasn't read. The King One of them is like a weight watching book. It's like my library at school where it's got like He's, two volumes yeah. of it's manga. It's a secret because they're embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we need more books in like, here. This is really gay. <laughs> We've got the fifth and sixth yeah. volume of Nisei yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just There's like just a bookshelf and it has like 30 or 40 books and it's like just at like sparse volumes of manga combined with like business books and he's like, I was gonna get around to reading that. <laughs> Making money moves. And he's like, get a lot of those Bill O'Reilly novels. He's like, look, I don't like Fox News, but I think he's a good writer. <laughs> I think he makes some interesting cogent points. I, I would... got, it he really does his help. research. <laughs> or what, is it The Wish or The Help or something like that? It's Oprah's well, like, oh, well, well, well. Wish the Help? No, it's The Secret. Oh, The Secret, yeah. yeah. The, the Help's <laughs> that racist the one, help, isn't it? Uh, well, that's what you call... Uh, that's what you call, y- like... Your minority... Your, my, yeah, that's what you your, call... My fellow minority. <laughs> yeah, but you're... No, not your fellow minorities. My, your minority housekeepers. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The Help. My fellow um, minorities. I would know. But... <laughs> Fucking no, fellowship the... of the clean. What? Like of the ring. Nice. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you talking? Nice <laughs> <about>? Lord of the Rings <laughs> joke. Because I don't know. You said fellow. I'm like I just got stuck in that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I found a fun game That's to sick. play. Uh, uh, on Snapchat, you go to the Snap Map, and you can't. You didn't. Uh, you can like see like your friends on Snapchat. But you know, if you click on like random countries, you can see people's like snap stories yeah. in those countries. What? Yeah. Yeah. And I so I was just That's... like clicking around on like random countries in Africa, just seeing like what they're doing. <laughs> well, and you... most of them are just like people watching soccer while smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this is awesome. That's sweet. Well, I mean, like, I guess yeah, like South Africa would probably just be a bunch of people like in like really shitty, uh, like really shitty like uh, yeah buildings. Probably, I'm assuming this. I've only seen Chappie. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, I'm like, I don't know what people even live like in these countries, so I'm going to check it out. And I look in, and I'm like, yeah, that's about that's what it. I thought. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're all just watching soccer, <laughs> and these guys just have massive, like, bags of weed, because I imagine it's, like, not illegal. Well, they're probably just, like, also countries. dealers. Yeah. Like, I assume, because it's not like you're going to get busted for a Snapchat story. and uh, The cops aren't pulling you over and smelling weed on you yeah. in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're, too, they're too busy they're too uh, busy like stealing your iPhone yeah. or whatever I mean I don't know they probably pull you over if they think they can get a bribe out but if you're like a smuggler they're like yeah. you know how this works yeah uh, Yeah, we know, know a lot again. about the political situation now. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah we've like seen a whole life. three seasons. I was in uh, South Africa once when I was like uh, I don't know 12 so I know a lot about <laughs> it <laughs> how many dead frogs did you see in that pool and that billion was dead the, frogs. Was that the world no, is a fuck. No. It's actually pretty cool, man. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of interesting, like it's tapping some, around. Like, in stop the listening to this. Go on Snapchat right now. Yeah, everybody <laughs> go on Snapchat. Oh, Snapchat. And also go to our entire... email. Yeah. <laughs> and email us at brownbrookspodcast had... at gmail.com. Some guy just pulled up a fucking flare at a, a, a club and just shot it. Where is he? <laughs> what is this? Where is that? <laughs> Somewhere in the Middle that's East in, or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a fucking... Oh my god! What the fuck? It's just shot a fucking club. We no, should Jerry. fucking do that. Yeah, we should. It's, it's I think that's sweet. how you get shot. Don't. Uh, oh, but all the women are. Uh, that, no. well, all he wait, said is all. What the women did he are. say? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, you haven't oh, communicated uh, any uh, idea. You just said, ah, oh, there's women in the video. Are, <laughs> they, are they in? Burkas? But they're not sexy. That's right. right. They're not why would I even shoot yeah. a flare gun in the club yeah. if there's no <laughs> what's, sexy what's women to see? Going the point of shooting a flare gun in a club is so the women will take their clothes off. So if they're not sexy, what's the fucking point? Wait, gotta, why would they take you their Because it's hot. You gotta light oh, a flare oh, yeah, burka you... on fire from the bottom, <laughs> and that way... And then they get they get burned up, but their face up, is still, yeah. like, covered with the sh- shawl, um, hijab. Yeah, we, and we they, got it. 
Yeah, so they just, they're like, oh no, but of course, to comply with, like, the media regulations, their job has to stay on, but they're completely naked otherwise, and, this but their, no, their wrists oh, and their, their ankles are oh. cut. Okay. What the fuck are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's still going on this, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking, like, we take each other's a Snapchat video. <laughs> Jackson said he, you would burn up somebody's like, <laughs> yeah. so, like Muslim. Yeah, I, I was following. Yeah, thank you. Know, you know, you, know, you like this yeah. job from the bottom, so yeah. they have to take it off, and then they're in the bikini I, or whatever they wear under hijab. I was going with that. It just <laughs> like, stopped me. The thing that uh, Muslim women always <laughs> yeah, wear under their burkas is a bikini. <laughs> yeah, and, wouldn't you? I would. Yeah. Under your burqa? Under the burqa that Wait, I do wear. Is the burqa the full thing or the I think the burqa is the whole thing. The job is the just the head. head. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Let's stop talking about this. Let's go uh, visit a different m- Middle Eastern country on Snapchat. And oh, see is what this? I, I, I've told you guys a story, but I don't think I've told on the pod, where uh, when me and my sister first moved to England, uh, there was these women in burqas, and my sister had not seen people in burkas before uh and she was very young and naive to it all and she thought that that's just what homeless people look like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so she went up and she dropped some uh some pound coins into their bags what sort of bags they're shopping bags <laughs> from a very nice department store <laughs> well yeah they're... and she's like they need it more than i do <laughs> I mean, their husbands are oil barons. So. Yeah, like, just blatantly, like, incredibly rich Middle Eastern people, <laughs> like, in England, just to, like, you know, enjoy all the luxuries there. Yeah, <laughs> just, just, just like, like they need. They're like, oh, it's so sad. <laughs> they're playing dominoes in Turkey. Yeah. And they're having a good time playing it Looks like oh, Turkey wow. doesn't have it Celsius so hard. Celsius. Four there. degrees Celsius seems pretty cold. Yeah. That's not that cold. It's like 40 know. degrees. Right? Yeah. I don't fucking know. No, yeah, it's like 40 degrees. Yeah, I guess so. Zero degrees Celsius is freezing. That is true. So it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, Uh, Kelvin to... Or, Kelvin to Celsius is a lot more straightforward because it's, like, additive, but Fahrenheit to Celsius is, like, weird multiplication. (laughs) Like, you actually have to do, like, math to understand that. The only black guy in the Ukraine is posted on Snapchat. (laughs) Yeah, that's why he's he's such a big Snapchat influencer. Him and some middle schooler with ginormous tits are the only Ukrainian Snapchat influencers. Everyone's just posting their food. Making me hungry. Alright, fuck this. This is stupid. Um, Mm. Are we done? (laughs) (laughs) Yep, alright, alright. We're good. We're 500 in. We're good. Um, Uh, No, I... I guess... You know what? Well, now that we... Now that we've reached a point where I can easily cut from this... I'll talk about the anime that I watch, so if it's not funny, then I can just cut the entire segment out. Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> pussy. Okay. Enough. We're not going to have enough content if you cut this out, so... It's, don't, don't you just, better not. I'll just double the part where we talk about burning someone's, like, a job. <laughs> <laughs> just loop it like a fucking fever dream. Like, <laughs> what is Phineas going to understand what the content is <laughs> It's, no, I, like, remix it, so Jackson's like, what? What? Stop. Um, yeah, that would be, be cool. Good. Yeah, it's like yeah. endless eight. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, it's also endless... almost exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'll do it eight times. You know, it's also endless eight. Skate the infinity because it's spelled S K and then an infinity symbol. And wow. uh, okay, let's guys... just that is like watch. Have, you, have you guys watched that? No, that's what it is. Oh, it's that. Yeah, it have was. you ever have you ever watched or have has anyone ever seen anything about that? I feel mm-hmm. like I've heard I think of I've it. Seen that it's logo but I may it's Yuri on Ice but with skaters and it's a bunch of it's very it's very homosexual. It's with a bunch of guys and they're very it's very well animated and I just thought like there's not there's not much to report on it other than the fact that like it's notes. interesting to see I well I have notes because I watched a bunch of anime uh, <laughs> this week and I, I normally don't a bunch of anime. <laughs> and I normally just don't do that and like but I got a uh, my roommate wanted to watch Dr. Stone dubbed and so I was like okay. oh okay. I guess I'll just like pop the crunch or er, the Funimation free trial so I did that and I was like well I can just watch all this dubbed anime well, I'm like working on something else, so I just did that, and so that's okay. that's when I started going down this rabbit hole. So I watched Skate the Infinity, which is like made by women for women about gay guys, and it's really funny to cool. see like what they think, like a lot of the like generic tropes are, where it's like mm-hmm. this is a sexy woman, and it's like ooh, but it's like this disgusting like malformed like 
weird like person with ginormous tits and yeah. like weird hair and they're like this is what men think are sexy right and then they're like this guy's such a player and like the way that they show that he's such a player is that he's like next to a woman and he like gingerly kisses her and then like brushes her hair and it's like that guy's <laughs> such a player and it's like this most the like most loving action he could possibly do and it's like yeah but he's always has his shirt off anyways it's pretty cool uh why does he have his shirt off if they're skating uh, I don't know. I, I he's it, like a like weird skateboarding. I assume. Yeah, it's, not a, roller it's skate. Skating. It's skateboarding. Uh, um, so but one of them, the main like guy, this. is a snowboarder uh, who came from Canada, and he's really good at skateboarding. He's like a natural. Does savant. he have like a special power technique? Because Pretty much of his snowboarding. The, the first match that he does, he match. tapes his. Well, yeah, because it's like there's a elite skating rink that only is open at night that you go to and you can battle against other <laughs> skaters what is and that it's like mean? is it called like the infinity or something what uh i think it's called like the s oh, okay. <laughs> which the is s. even lamer but it's like no one knows about the s you need to have this sticker to get in and so he goes why would and... you want to have a competition like no one knows about these competitions like, <laughs> no there's tons of people you there. could have a skateboard competition that no one knows about very easily <laughs> yeah. no but there's like all these like villain characters there like oh, it sounds like a lot of people know about there it. is but like they say like nobody knows it's a super elite and then there's just a bunch of like fucking losers that stand around like after this guy wins two matches he's immediately like the most popular person <laughs> there so it's like oh so these guys are just fucking losers but anyways this guy the first match that he does he like tapes his like shoes to the uh, the skateboard because he's like I'm a snowboarder so I need to like do that <laughs> because I'm not what? used to being able to like lift off my board. So his greatest weakness is that he can't kickflip. Uh, actually, the they spend the first the first training arc is all about like learning to do an ollie. So yeah, pretty much, and they're just like once you can do an ollie, you can go anywhere. And he's <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> How many episodes of this did you watch, Jack? I watched all of it. What? How Damn. many episodes was it? Uh, eight episodes up to the point that I was okay. uh, seeing. Oh, so they have was it good? Yeah, it's like, it did, You're not really selling this. Oh, no, it was fun. I mean, it's, like, okay. stupid fun, but it's all, like, very, like, shonen tropey, but it's also, like, gay shonen tropey, which is something I don't get to see a lot, so it's fun to see, because it's, like... Case study. Do they exactly. have cool skater fashion jacket that wearing Thrasher? Yes, they oh, are. Shit, well, there's fashion. a skater shop that clearly has a lot of off-brand skater merch that they constantly are selling. Oh yeah. Uh, and the main guy is like a skateboard designer, so he designs like a half snowboard, half skateboard skateboard <laughs> for what this the guy. What does that mean? It's, it's a, it, it means there's like weird clips for his shoes on it, <laughs> so he can do all that. Anyways, yeah. It's I pretty... hope at some point that show ran out of ideas and someone tried to compete with like a longboard on like a half pipe. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, they they explain like longboard, penny board, and skateboard. They're like long. This is a cruiser. It's only meant for cruising. This is a longboard. It's only if you want to go real slow. It's basically a surfboard with wheels. And they're like, in this, this is a skateboard. And he's like, whoa, that's awesome. You know this... the real reason why Jack watched the show, right? It's because he wants to get into it's skating. Because eventually he's going to have a conversation with someone where they bring up skateboarding. <laughs> yeah, 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 And yeah. he wants to pretend like he knows. <laughs> oh, the classic Jack. Anything like, about he, he used to talk to you about volleyball because he saw Haikyuu. Oh, and be like, <laughs> oh yeah. that actually segues the, the quite libero. nicely. There was, a, there was a volleyball player at the... Uh, the what's it called the formal or whatever um that we had so we had like a mini just seniors alone yeah he's good <laughs> we had a mini just seniors alone like formal at our house to like celebrate the end of the year because we're not gonna have any more like events so mm-hmm. we were like oh let's just invite like 30 of our friends and uh along with like a bunch of the girls one of them was like a volleyball player that came and i just talked to her for a long time about volleyball <laughs> Only through my knowledge of high Q, and she's like, "Well, oh, that's awesome. You know all this stuff." Uh-huh. And I'm like, "Yep, that, that's what's going on." And like Nebraska volleyball is like pretty damn good. And oh, she yeah. was, she was like, six so she feet. was a player. Yeah, she was oh. a player, and like uh, she was like six feet tall. She was a player. She lightly brushed Jack's <laughs> yeah. and, and then kissed kiss me the genderly. Yeah, damn. I said yes. Uh, no, but I got her number from that because no. I was able to talk my way through Ooh. volleyball through watching high Q. <laughs> So and I think that's I think that's well worth it. Have you ever said animated and help you get laid? 
Exactly. Oh, it did. I mean, she did not come back to my room. That actually, that was the most embarrassing part she of that night. She would see night. all the IQ. She'd go, "You're a fucking well, you <laughs> well, no, All the IQ pages so, like, Jack has posted up on his wall. Oh yeah, she's like, "You bitch! Uh, you lied to me. You th- I said you liked volleyball. Okay, like I do, dude, but animated volleyball." Jack has a collage of manga pages for those wondering. Yeah, and in my room, uh, I was listening to like the newest Deco eighty eight song or twenty seven song. Yeah, that had like just a picture of Miku on my uh, computer screen and I shut my door once people started coming and uh, like so it was like <laughs> Jack inter- people start coming he goes oh, he slammed the door <laughs> yeah. while we music still I, don't, I, yeah, I don't leave but I just like so I have that still on um, and then I also have this uh, I also have like all of this manga over my wall and I'm like okay if I shut my door no one's really gonna like worry about it and apparently there was just this gaggle of girls that were like going and like looking at people's rooms and oh, so man, I, I go hate. to the bathroom and then I just hear like my like that song playing uh, and I was oh, like no oh. and I go into my room and there's <laughs> just like five there's like five women looking at my wall looking at my 2B figure my Pokemon <laughs> cards and like mistake. and they like press play on the song and they're like and Jack's the like fuck? don't touch that figure with your fucking hand what is wrong with <laughs> No, no, I was like, and then they were like, whose room is this? And I'm like, I don't know, but you should probably get out of here. And you they're like, said, oh, you said you don't know. You <laughs> like, no that, one who lives here knows you're <laughs> yeah. No, I was like, like, I we got here. Uh, I don't know. And they're like, oh, it's been true. The landlord lives in here. <laughs> I've never seen it. He would get really mad if you guys came what in. The fuck kind of this door has been locked for ten years. How do you get inside? <laughs> I was like, I was embarrassed. embarrassed someone else's was... room and just start pressing like. Well, yeah, I was. Buttons. I was less embarrassed than I would be because I'm like, get out of my fucking room. <laughs> uh, I like, but at the same time, like, I just saw that, and then they were like, oh, this is Bill's be- room. Like, oh, this is like one of them turned to me and they're like, this is so cool, and I'm like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. You fuck don't, you don't mean that. <laughs> you know me. That, that was like the first time I showed somebody who like was a non weeb. They came in. They're like, "Wow, your wall is so cool." And I'm like, "You don't have to say that." And they're like, "Okay, yeah." <laughs> but yeah, so Jack anyway. trying to figure out if someone's like cool to go in his room and see that collage is like trying to figure out if someone's cool to do coke with you in the bathroom. <laughs> it really is. It's, Where it's like you, uh, you, you know, you like the sort of things I like. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, uh, you, you, that's why I do all those, like, random, like, jokes that are just Get tangentially checks. related to anime. So if somebody laughs, I know they're... No. Actually, you know what? You would probably Obviously. find people who would be more willing to do coke at a party than people who would be, like... Absolutely, yeah. yeah. no. I mean, yeah. you could ask with yeah. less shame, certainly. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can you announce... want to do coke? Do you like anime? <laughs> 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 While you're in the bathroom doing a line like... Yeah, that's like, you trap in with the coke. Do you like anime? anime? <laughs> What the fuck? What are you talking about? Ever done lines off a body pillow? <laughs> <laughs> my 2B body pillow. My yeah. Mithra plushie. Um, yeah, no, anyways. So that was... <laughs> the cleavage wanna... carries the perfect amount of coke for uh, <laughs> yeah. pick me up. <laughs> I want to go back to cons, man. I miss cons. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, we'll probably go to... Is the Anime Expo the... happening this year? No. Like, shit, no. That sucks. They uh, had like the online Naka Con recently. Like, who, but like online. online I, I didn't, I didn't like, go obviously because it's like on Zoom or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, imagine shit, zooming in and stuff. all these like, like just pathetic just people losers. just sitting in their cosplay at home and just yeah, like at talking. Their desk. And I'm like, ah. Oh, well, their parent uh, abuses their little sister this in the is background. Fucking gross. This sucks. Who didn't turn their ring around? That was me. It's that's Jack's that's this thing right computer. here. Oh, it happens yeah. every time. Uh, we should go to one of those like anti vaxxer Trumper rallies and call that a con. Call that a con. Cool. Yeah, that no, yeah, we can just all dress up gonna get. in like cosplay yeah. and then just be like, everyone show up. Yeah. I'll be selling prints. Well, uh, what's a what's a Trump rally appropriate cosplay? Uh, I, I will go in Uncle Sam. Or, uh, uh, what's this <laughs> fucking President Funny Valentine from Part Seven? Oh yeah, that would actually <laughs> yeah. be pretty good. That would but definitely just... you definitely would be fucking murdered. <laughs> <laughs> No, I would have my American flag fucking cape, and they'd be like, "That guy's cool. He looks cool." They'd say that guy's yeah, an American F-word, flag, but they use the real thing. That's fair. That's true. I guess I'm thinking of like 
you know, fucking, like, redneck hillbilly type people there. But a lot of the Trumpers are, like, crazy, weird internet nerds. Yeah. yeah so no, you'd probably no, be probably fine. you probably fit in, yeah. Yeah, yeah they'd, they'd be like, like oh, that's that guy's, funny. Yeah. That's the fucked up thing. We would find people there <laughs> yeah. who we could fucking, like, laugh with pretty <laughs> yeah. easily. They're like, oh, As much got... as I think that, like, they're pretty fucking... I mean, we're psychotic ourselves. Yeah. So... But in a, a different way. Yeah. Exactly. We keep it confined to the podcast. I mean, well, yeah, when I have a bad day, I don't go shoot up nail salons. I'm going to probably stab a bunch of other kinds of women. Y- yeah, a-, a lot of Asian women outside of nail salons. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. Who I at a con rather than... Yeah, that's really interesting. I think of like... killing women all the time, but they're never minorities. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how, how much of that was actually against Racially Asian? motivated? Yeah. He said, I want to kill all Asians. No, no, he did didn't say, say that. Did he, yeah, he did. That no, was I don't a think witness so. testimony. No, he didn't. No, he actually, I've been following this. He yeah. actually did not. I, yeah. There's like a, such a huge like backlash on like, okay. I don't, is this, why this else would he drive to three different nail salons and kill the people there? Well, apparently well, like, like I don't, motivated. I got a bad massage one time. Well, no, he had like, like sexual frustrated, like sexually yeah. frustrated. Yeah, it's definitely racially motivated. I don't The nail salon thing definitely seems like a racial thing like i don't know what your reasoning would be for him doing that other than oh he that's did... where koreans work no oh, he said that, that was where he like frequented or something yeah. but he went to three yeah he no, did he frequented yeah. three nail salons yeah what? apparently i don't know i, I i'm <laughs> yeah. just or reading but I think sure. it's, it's a lot like... more it's a lot more sexual than racially motivated i think uh, it is i think it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a problem i'm not trying to i think that i don't think sexual I think, fetishization of asian i'll women, agree with sure. Tasia yeah. sense that I, I think sexism was more of a motivator yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and if, i think come on racism's in there a little bit if, come if on the now. people at the nail salon or the not nail salon but the spa that were giving him massages and happy energy or whatever if they were like white ukrainian immigrants He'd probably kill them as well. Yeah, that's what my my take is. If it was white, think... if white Ukrainian women were the kind of people who worked at nail salons, he would find out where Korean women were working. I don't think so. I, think I don't think so. Right. Yeah, that's, you don't know. That's that. a distinction. Yeah, because we don't. Know. Oh, I don't know that. To go to yeah, three nail salons know. is such a specific thing that he either has something against nails or against the kind of people was who work there. Was it nail salons there. or like massage parlors? Yeah, I thought it was massage parlors. Yeah, I thought it was nail salons. I don't know. It's probably like a combo deal kind of thing, you know. But it was like it was like specifically he like. He oh, like okay. went there for massages. Before. Oh, okay. Yeah. All and, right. Like, he did that. Maybe that's that makes it a it little out. more tenuous than nail salon. I thought <clears throat> yeah. it was literally just well, like. Well, it was like nail salons. No. It's like, well, yeah. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, yeah. well, you no. guys, you guys realize this guy wasn't getting a lot of manicures, right? <laughs> it would be really funny if they like chipped one of his nails and then he like adds them to a list and he's like, one of these days when I snap everyone on this list. We should have never protected South from the North. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my bad day. I go to all the sports clips in the yeah. local area and I kill every barber well, yeah if you were going to all the sports positive. clips people wouldn't think you had a thing against like asian women they'd be like, he, <laughs> they'd be like they have something against fat white women <laughs> to be fair if there's any people, black women who don't know how to cut white people's hair if there's, any, if there's any group of people that i'm like you know what genocide like i think i think i'd be more Barbers. understanding of it fat white women <laughs> yeah. I, think there's, I think there's arguments to be made Dude, i'm not is, saying they're right can i say why is being jolly when you're fat, the stereotype, when, from my experience, it should Jimmy be John, sad. fat people are always the meanest, <laughs> most awful people in the world. Because they're uncomfortable 24-7. Yeah. Like, there's... It gets them grumpy, because they're so... Yeah. yeah. I mean, no. Literally, the only example of, like, happy fat people are, like, Jack Santa Black. Claus. Jack Black and, like, Stavros. And even they're, like, just... the only happy fat yeah. people yeah. I know. The... Buddha, come and on, And Jack man. Black's Buddha's also, like, Hollywood yeah. fat, where, like, he's, like, plump, but Jonah there's a Hill weird kind of, like, kind of fitness that he has Jonah with Hill him. slimmed up. <clears throat> yeah, but, I mean, he was... He was fat. And yeah, I think right. he was sad about being fat. Yeah, because, so so. like, no one, like... Well, because, like, he was staying fat because he was kind of getting typecast as that. So he's yeah. like, I can't be scared. I also think nobody, like, wants to be fat. Like, no. nobody's, like, sitting around. They're just like, I'm so happy that I'm... Like, most so people... So we're doing them a service, really. Well, yeah, exactly. We'll take them out of their misery. Yeah. No, I mean, most Those people, like, on the fat people hate subreddit would be like, we're helping. It's like, <laughs> what? Who are you fucking... Yeah. <laughs> no, the fat people hate subreddit was such a weird moment in time because, they're like, that's the epitome of, like, no, this... This is all like a parody, or like what do people use? It's satire. satire it's like yeah. uh, like YouTubers saying it's like sat- it was yeah. satire. Is that guys. what this is? That's uh, what like yeah. cinema sends it up, where they're like, guys, it's uh, we're trying to help these fat people by making fun of them relentlessly. Yeah. It's like you don't think they know that they're fat, <laughs> like you don't think they're just like trying. 
I, I, sure I especially hated not. the ones where it'd be like a fat person in a gym, yeah, and they're like, that, "Look at this!" That. And I'm like, "What a piece of shit!" It's like they're trying well, yeah. to like get better, and you're just like, "No, what a loser!" <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I'm sure most of those people posting that kind of stuff were not like slim lords yeah. themselves. So why does body shaming work more in like Japanese society than it does? Why in Japanese? Our society? He's saying know, because of the know, culture there, yeah. they're thinner on average because there's. The culture to be thin. Also, like yeah. Japanese there a lot of things, but like, food like available weird... enables being thin yeah, much yeah, more yeah, than okay. in like, America. Like you... they have to walk a lot more, right? Yeah. Public transport. Like I would not say like so... the shame is the thing keeping uh, Japan thin. It's well, so there is a lot of shame. Well, I think like shame. Overall, I agree with that. It's more of a cultural right? thing where like uh-huh. overall Americans are a lot more fuck you, I'll do what I want. But Jack Japanese are a lot more like collectivist in their society. Where they're just like, hey, we're like kind of a part of the same thing. So if I'm fat, I kind of look bad on the rest like of the group. It's like unhealthy for everyone. But, yeah. but that goes against the narrative of like, oh, just because you shame people, that doesn't do anything. Well, no, but like, there what, is, there is. But I'm, just that's what I'm, why, that's why I'm saying that I don't think the culture is the main factor in the main thing. They have, they literally have access to foods that makes it way easier to stay thin yeah. more easily than the, you have in America. Well, I think the, shame like, does work on like, Japanese people a lot better than it does on Americans. Because Americas. of like the collective. Issues. Sure, that's part part of it but i'm just saying like i don't think that that is the main reason i would definitely mm-hmm. think it's because i mean that like he, in america <laughs> if you're poor a lot of the easiest food to get is junk food and like really high sugar content food mm-hmm. yeah but shaming does work in certain circumstances shaming i, I think mean, shaming, shaming, shaming and like shaming, shaming works society. shaming works temporarily though yeah because it's something where unless you like raise that person unless you're like a parent and you're able to like shame them up until the point that they're 18 and to the point where it's like ingrained in their psyche if you're shaming someone into doing something they're only going to do it for as long as like you're shaming them and as long as yeah. that's like and effective. even if it did work long term it would be a less desirable result than non-shame alternatives where it's like i'm thin now but i still hate myself and yeah I'm constantly stressed out mm-hmm. right the as opposed reason... to like you would be, feel happier if you were like th- or uh, like thinner. yeah i mean like it's hard to generate like a like a compliment based society where we like say like oh you did really you're looking really good today like like oh did you work out recently that kind of mm-hmm. thing that's harder to create than something that's like oh man you're looking pretty fat now <laughs> you fat fuck well it's easier to notice like the worst in people yeah. over like the best in them and like most of the time just because we see so many people on a daily basis like people who look good or, like, are doing something good, unless they look, like, really good or really different, yeah, like, that's just the care. norm as opposed to, like, if someone looks really bad, you'll notice yeah. that out of... So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if you... Why don't you guys having a good day? If you're looking really good, I'm not gonna say shit. I don't care. But I if will. you guys are looking real bad, yeah, I'm gonna call that out. <laughs> that idea, like, yeah. Bless you. Well, you've never called me out, so I guess I've been looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been the same. Exactly. Perfect. Uh, exactly. Equilibrium. Consistency is what we desire in all things. But that's playing. why we made fun of your shoes, Tage. The holes in them. Because they looked bad. They did. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a shame. Why was that a thing, why was that a thing in like... Why was that a thing in like the most elite of like private schools... There was just multiple people with these shoes with the soles coming off that would just put, like, tape on the bottom where, like, if they ask their parents, like, for half a second, they're like, can I get new shoes? Uh, Don't spend money, that's how you stay rich. My theory is because because we had a uniform, some of us got so used to being able to wear the same thing almost every day that the shoes being part of that were like, well, why is that going to be the one thing that I take some pride in and try to... (laughs) That makes a lot of sense. Like, I think the fact that we had a uniform made it like equalize in the sense where we're like we don't really care about our appearance like other than like physical appearance like it didn't really matter like what you wore, what you wore like yeah. and no i think it's was... a good thing i think i, I, think, I think uniforms yeah. are a good thing yeah, yeah. yeah. uniforms are a good idea except for, for poor people because then they have to like buy uniforms <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's always a racket because I agree. whoever's making yeah. the uniform is like probably not a like... lax uniform is a good idea like slightly like slacks and like a yeah. polo shirt but the problem like with that. a lax uniform is that there's room for like vertical progression in terms of looks where it's like all right Not i can so much, i can though. like you can keep it like i can a, like afford a, a polo constant, like, that's 25 well, a constant base level is like but i mean like you're if you're after. if you're saying like all right someone's always going to look better than someone else but there's also i think i feel like there's more room to be like i have better clothes on if it's a lax uniform as i mean well. lax is a very gets... vague term like how yeah. lax if jackson's yeah. saying like you have to wear this color polo and then like 
brownish colored pants like that's yeah. so, kind of lax but like there's not the room for like looking that much better mm. but you could wear but if like, you're saying like no hoodies and that's what you mean by lax then yeah there's the room to like mm. yeah that's different yeah i don't know it's hard to say like, uniforms are cool not ones, t-shirts but... and like i like uh, college because now i get to like wear things no i just well i've got to come up with something business casual before monday I don't have any. <laughs> what are you What are you doing on Monday? Uh, I gotta do some fucking thing for my scholarship where I go to the zoo. Oh yeah, that's where we're talking about gorilla pussy. Yeah, right? we're talking about gorilla. <laughs> I gotta come up with oh, three questions to ask some executives at the zoo, and I'm thinking like, which animal do you guys like to sexually assault the most? <laughs> oh, which, that's a good one. Which animal is the most attractive to you? Yeah, where did all the elephants go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those... How much uh, meat do you export? Yeah. <laughs> from the zoo. I had a I had a friend or someone who I was talking to who was talking about like writing interview questions and I was like oh yeah I just I just wing most of, like the interviews where I like kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna ask him but I don't really worry and she's like yeah the interview I have coming up was with like a parent whose kid died and I'm gonna ask him about that and I'm like you should <laughs> you should probably what? write those questions then because <laughs> she was like I don't need to write them and I'm like I do the same and then she told me like what it was about and I was like you should probably like think about that a little more than like well do you like gorilla pussy (laughs) it's like (laughs) not the time not not the audience that's what we were thinking like which animal would be the best to fuck in the zoo and also which was the biggest primate that you could get away with fucking uh i think gorilla would still kill you yeah yeah, no you would be killed by a gorilla gorilla. we were just curious what their pussies look like (laughs) yeah yeah and it looks it's pretty fuckable looking it's 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 about what you'd expect yeah, yeah. <laughs> successful charm a gorilla though charm to a not gorilla. kill you. That's a good well, point. I guess you. I was just thinking for any primate I would attempt this challenge on, that'd be rape. I don't know what okay. it would it'd have to like. be. One of those gorillas that like learn sign language. What is? Oh, it? like Coco. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. no, Coco didn't Coco understand sign. So, yeah. Some tits. No, he yeah, didn't actually understand. Yeah, no, Coco language. didn't understand sign language. So you like signed words like, "Could I have sex with you?" And she'd be like, "Yes," because she assumed like she'd be getting a treat after that. But then you just <laughs> rape her. <laughs> But no, she wouldn't let you do that. <laughs> yeah, she'd just kill you. No, she would, because she'd be like, I guess I accidentally agreed to this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she understood consent, and that was about it. The gorillas understand consent. Oh, and then she didn't get a treat afterwards. Wait, so is, she cons- went wild. is consent like a fucking vampire, where it's like you can like trick them into it, where yeah. you can like, sign <laughs> a contract, <laughs> and you're like, damn no. it, I guess I consented. I guess yeah. I have to let them fuck me. Yeah, that's it, what I'm going to do for every partner in the future, just yeah, you have to sign a contract. Yeah, when you have conversations with your children as they're growing up and becoming sexual beings, with the boys, you got to talk about consent sexual and how important it is to make is sure you get it. Phrase. But with girls, you have to talk to them about the vampire rules. Where <laughs> yeah. If, if they, they can accidentally give consent and be tricked. Yeah, it's and, true. And then, like, if you do that, you have to have sex with them. <laughs> you have to. It's so, required yeah. by law. Just be careful. They can actually sue you. They yeah. can sue you. The... For that's blue balls, yeah. yeah. That should be a law. That should be, yeah. That should be a law. <laughs> the only time you can revoke consent is when you're on the bottom. So <laughs> when you're on the top, when you're if on you, the top, when you you're doing away, the action, if you, say, if you say sorry, <laughs> I don't like, want to do this. I'm, or... I'm fucking them, but I'm like, I don't consent to this. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're on top of them. You're like, I don't want to have sex with you anymore. They're like, then stop. <laughs> Get off, stop, stop, please. Um, what? What is this? <laughs> I'm like I'm taking you to that'd court. That'd be so funny you had, like, me. if you had like a an S and like her uh, her M is just like on the ground, just like tied up, and then she's like she gets on, she's like I don't want to have sex with you anymore. Hey, it's I like I can't do anything about she's this. Like I can't breathe. You like gagged me. Uh, <laughs> Like tongue, like Helen Keller. Yeah. Use That's... these fun tricks to send some stupid bitch to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Prison for life. Top five life That's... hacks to send some oh, stupid bitch to jail. That's a, that's a court case you're losing for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it'd be landmark. Top it would five be, it would tricks go to, like, 
to get rid of some dumb that's going, fucking yeah. bitch. That's going to the Supreme Court, and I'm getting Kavanaugh yeah. to side with me. Yeah, baby. Kavanaugh's, <laughs> like, Kavanaugh's right on my corner. Kavanaugh's like, I grew up teaching my daughters about the vampire rules, and if no one taught him about that, then you know what? That's kind of on them. People are calling it the smuggest Supreme Court victory of all time. <laughs> Laughing all the way to the bank. I... The bank? You're making money off of <laughs> Yeah, no, I do. That's my like settlement. Yeah, the yeah. settlement is money. I don't damages, want The else. damages of me you not being able to... You don't have to go to prison. To... Just, I want your money. Just yeah. fucking absurdly rich woman to be like, you're raping me. That's, please don't have sex with me anymore. <laughs> yeah, you, imagine, like, the amount of loopholes you'd have to jump through to, like, first... Get them to consent via vampire rules. <laughs> then get them to not consent while they're having sex with you. So you can then sue yeah, them. I just want a clause in some fucking law that says vampire rules. <laughs> Please be the vampire <laughs> rules. <laughs> vampire rules clause. If you knock three times, they can have sex with you. It's legal. <laughs> There's nothing saying they as can't. As long as you let them in the foyer and took their shoes off yeah. with your own hands. And as long as you took the left shoe off off first then the right shoe off it's too late <laughs> these crazy third wave feminazis <laughs> want to get rid of vampire rules <laughs> established in the middle ages yeah, the founding fathers came up with vampire rules we can't just get rid of them. you you come in and you're just like you have like your bag in like some chick's dorm and then you have like a bunch of shrunken heads in the bag <laughs> and you're like putting them on like opposite corners of the room and she's like oh not quite and he's like damn <laughs> Decide it's right part way through vampire rules sex, then she's raping you. Yeah. Oh, 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 the guy <laughs> is saying is, yeah, you almost is raped me yeah. as he's being stopped. <laughs> as he's as he's picking up the sunken heads and you know, disposing them and sealing them away. That'd be tight. My brother used to put crab apples in the corners of his room to crab apples in the corners and then he would fuck Spiders. me in the ass. <laughs> Spiders don't like crab apples, so that you put them in your room to ward off spiders. He's like, he's like Jackson. Please don't come in the room. I have to, I have to rape you. If you do that, it's law. Like I don't it's really vampire rules. I don't really understand the logic behind this, but okay. Once you set them down, once you set the crab apples down, you have to have like a tier three mage what the come fuck in the room are and just crab them. apples. Where they're the fuck do they apples. come from? Yeah. They're they're just like they come from a tree? They, they come, come from, from a tree. Ocean. Yeah, they're crabapple trees and they suck. What the fuck? No one likes them. Yeah, nobody eats them. Well, they're very, like, they're very, My like, resilient apples. My brother would get bit, like, on the face and neck all the time by spiders when he was a kid, so he'd have to put crab apples <laughs> in the room to, like, ward off spiders. He was trying to get superpowers. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, do spiders just smell the crab apple in the room and leave? Well, or? they're like, I think they're poisonous to spiders. Well, why the fuck would they eat this crab? The crab apple's in the opposite corner of the room. Why do they give a shit about that crab apple over there? Well, they probably just smell it. Here? Like, if it's four corners, they yeah, probably just, like, pheromones. Yeah. Or some shit. I, I guess. guess. I, I don't know enough about spiders to yeah. have any like sort of crap insight apples. on this. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm definitely going to try to explain it to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one here. You just said your brother puts crab apples in the corner of the room. Well, I, I We're trying to formulate any sort of yeah. hypothesis as to how this would work. I They're going to like, the Wild I'm West. I'm like wondering wild. whether they, or not that was like some <laughs> magical like formula my family came up with or passed down. No, it I've wasn't like that. a real I've heard thing. i before though. Yeah. Like, okay. The spider it's like a real thing. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it, yeah. It's like, I don't know if it's. What is that real? Or did I just make that up? Uh, my family just made that shit. George up. Washington made that up. He <laughs> says, "Yep." And, and here, here are He's the like, requirements. All right, so I figured out a spider with a crab apple once, and uh, they seem to not like that very much. So. He's like, I figured out that vampire rules thing. Now, how are we gonna deal with all these spiders? <laughs> Two for one. All these spiders are macking on Martha. Yeah, and the founding fathers it. were brilliant people who nailed everything. Yep. And they got it right first try. The first try. Exactly. They dunked it. 
That's a slam dunk. Slam dunkarino. <laughs> fucking. It was Ben. Definitely ben it was definitely Ben Franklin who came yeah. up with the vampire. Rules, yeah, right? yeah. Ben like, Franklin doing all the raping. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like Ben. Why do you want us to add like he like comes in with like a piece of paper and like staples yeah. it to the bottom <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, it's a part of it now. So like, all right, that's the Constitution done. What's next on the docket? <laughs> and ben Franklin's like, I have something <laughs> I'd like to talk about. <laughs> Can I present an idea to the court? I present to yeah. Congress. And yeah. The, the vampire rules is like artic articles of the confederation where it's like before they had the constitution they had a first draft and it was called vampire rules <laughs> That's, they were like, this and they're like this is a little too rape focused <laughs> yeah. for the basis of a nation <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was the fucking uh the declaration of independence is called like vampire rules but like in terms of like vampire rules like the Vampires. Rule. I don't know why that would be what they would. We're the vampires. I don't know why it would be a. I don't know why it would be a not a noun but a, a verb instead or an adjective. Vampire rules. Vampires rules. Rule, rules. Uh, it's, I, like, it's like the rules. The singular vampire. Rules. No, it's like dude that rules. It's like that's sick. Bro. It's like that, that rules. parody movie Twilight. Vampires suck. <laughs> <laughs> vampires. Suck. Oh, was the one that was actually like... a third wave feminist movie because they were trying to get. That was like trying to bring attention to the vampire rules. They're like, listen, if someone starts laying crab apples down, don't let them finish. Don't let them get to guard that corner with your life. Yeah, and that's Feminist. why. I got like, like, look, we've accepted the vampire rules are here to stay, but we'll teach you how to fight back against <laughs> that's, them. That's why I got horrible reviews, because people were like, it's so not funny. They just kept bringing up all this rape nonsense. Oh, uh, this, <laughs> yeah, vampire sucks was too PC. Is that, is that the metaphor for vampires is just rape? Is that the metaphor? No, no, the metaphor is, uh, like, uh, it's like overindulgence in like rich capitalism. Stuff. Yeah, kind there's of definitely a though. Freudian way to read into it. Because sure. they're always like mm. sucking the blood out of women that they seduce or whatever. Yeah, is yeah. It only women though. Is it? It's, well, no, it's like, often. What that is, often like a, that's the yeah, trope. Right? There's like a seduction aspect yeah. to vampires, right? Well, because that's they're like they're magical. About. They can yeah. seduce you with like their vision. But know. what about real vampires? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that mostly. <laughs> that's comes... what Tage is getting at. So what's interesting is that mostly comes from the. Uh, Dracula book that came out or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's not like because that was focused myth. on yeah. like women mm -hmm. and that was focused on like that aspect of it. However, he sucked a lot of people's blood. And mostly, it was a metaphor for like imperialism and these guys coming over and like pretty much sucking the blood out of a lot of the people who live there yeah. and then like having them follow them after they were like done. And so we just focused on those women because they were like the wives of, like, the protagonists. So that was, like, what we focused on. It's like, ooh, they got, they got in there because they were women. able to seduce, yes. And so that's why. If only we'd had Uba. as many pieces of media today that were about capitalism. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, there's really a lack of that. There's really <laughs> a lack of people shitting on capitalism around, you know? Exactly. <clears throat> My favorite thing to do. Uh, well, those are all the losers. Well, we are the winners? <laughs> we are the winners? <laughs> Do we have? Do we own businesses? Do we own a factory? We own a podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is a, this is a lot of OTPHJ yeah, Where's your deed? Here where's your deed to the factory? Too? We own intellectual property. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We OTPHJ LLC. Oh, Although, is a real right business. now, Jack fucking owns it all. He's gonna fucking like. He's uh, gonna cut it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, the Jack's gonna, gonna start making. Jack's gonna, gonna go Mark full. Zuckerberg us. He's gonna make it some a social media platform somehow. <laughs> Episode thirty nine is like, hey guys. uh, so we just started making money, time. and so it's just me this Gonna time. Gonna go full Bill Burr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just solo And podcast. people are like, you know, this is different, but I, I do like it. It's <laughs> <laughs> I watched a lot of anime today, uh... Oh, I, you guys I have anything have. to say about that? Oh, that's right. They're not here. <laughs> I, no, you talk, I talk to myself like a fucking psychopath. Yeah. I'd, I'd just be like, do you have anything to say about that? And it's like, actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I really enjoyed this anime. Speaking uh, of anime I watched, I have to get this one out. I have to. Uh, the fucking... So I watched the most... I think I texted you guys about it. And yeah. I described it as the most incel slash autistic <laughs> anime that I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. And I, I used that ordering of the words... Very deliberately. Okay. So, mm. basically, the entire point of this anime is there's a game that is just anime Smash Brothers, right? Okay. Uh, and there's this, there's this okay. really bad fucking loser who's our protagonist. And he's, in the very beginning, he's playing a popular kid in anime Smash Brothers. And this, like, pathetic loser kid 
is like the best in anime Smash Brothers in Japan, and it's like a popular game, like I people see, like yeah. it. And he's like, I'm the best in the world or whatever. And then this other guy, like the popular kid, is just like, man, this game sucks. And he's like, you take that back. This is a god tier game. And then so he's like, I'll beat you with your own character, and that'll show you. And then like he does that. And then he goes home, and he's like, I'll never get popular because of this, though. And he goes in, <laughs> and then everyone in the school is like, dude, you, like, who won in your match of Anime Smash Brothers? Everyone in the school is talking about it. And he's like, he won, I guess. And so he's like, wow, that's really cool. But this, this, like, loser kid is actually pretty neat. And then he's online, and he's like, all the real life sucks. Anime Smash Brothers is the only thing that I need in my life. It's the coolest thing. It totally, like... He says he was born with low tier stats. The the name of the show is called Bottom Tier Character Tamazaki because it's he's like I was born with low tier stats. Low I could never tier. And so God. <laughs> basically, and so he goes in and like he start, he starts talking about like all the popular kids and he's like they were born with high stats and good abilities. My only ability is to play anime Smash Brothers well, but I do that. And like what he's number fuck? one in the world, but he still has like no friends like not even friends that are like related to this it's like bro just stream <laughs> yeah exactly bro, he's number bro, one you probably in Japan. have like friends in the community right yeah no but like so the, the way that i know this is that fucking like he just is sitting at home and he's playing with the number two in the world who plays the same character <laughs> and the number That's two just... is, so like the in. the person who asked is just like uh, she's like oh my like the reason why i was like so fucking dumb is that like the girl who asked, uh, the guy, he's like, did you win an anime Smash she's Brothers the against him? No, she's his, uh, the, like, hot guy's, like, girlfriend. Uh. And she's like, that's so cool, dude. <laughs> Fucking anime Smash Brothers, that's pretty that hot, back. actually. And so, again, the number two is just like, hey, can we meet up in real life? And then they meet up in real life. And again, yeah, it's the, it's the girlfriend or whatever. And she sees him, and then she's like... I didn't know you were a fucking loser. Oh my god, you piece of shit. I like what? what? And he's like, oh, you just god. look like awful, and I, I hate you. And I was expecting somebody like me, who's popular <laughs> and cool and attractive, to come, but instead it was just some loser who's the number one player of anime <laughs> Smash Brothers. Why would she think that it was some <laughs> fucking Ex popular dude with a life? Exactly. <laughs> she was like, I dedicated myself to this game, and through that, I was able to cultivate a life outside of the game. But you've just focused on the game entirely, That's and cool then he's of her, like, though. "Well, it's just like." It seems cool. Well, I mean, she just like rips into this guy the moment you see him, and she's like, "Actually, I that was a little bit mean, but you are a pathetic loser." <laughs> she's who, like, who like, "No oh, one will ever yeah, sleep with." Right. And then he's like, "Then he gets like this incel monologue where he's like about to shoot up a school. He's like, <laughs> these high tier characters, these I, high they're going around. They almost beat me at Anime Smash <laughs> Brothers. Uh, I guess the only like he's like the only way to play this game is not to play it if you're me, because I'm so low tier. <laughs> and then the it transfers from incel to autism at this point because the woman." And just like listen the way that you're seeing it i think because like the way the pr your problem is you don't put any effort into your appearance or you don't try to like interact <laughs> with people so what i'm going to do is through the lingo of video games explain oh. to you how to interact with people and like have a social life so what she's doing is she's like what's the first thing that you do in any video oh, in any open world video game which life is and then it's just like you have a character customization. It's like, yeah, and that's oh. the most important part of starting uh, the video so game. Funny. I know. I read when you texted that. I had already read quite a bit of manga. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Yeah, she's basically just trying to get him laid at a certain point. Yeah, she's like, uh, well, that's use your gamer skills to get some pussy. And so, funny. and so it's like, but the way that they explain this shit is, she's like. This is your quest. Like, the medium hard quest is, like, talking to three girls. And, it's, and the guy's, like, thinking about it. And, like, the worst part is that he's, like... Oh wait, she's like the two techniques that you need to learn in order to level up your appearance is posture and expression. He's like, "Whoa, I get it now." And I'm like, "Is this guy like this guy has to be like on like crazy on the spectrum yeah. in order to understand core?" 
It's crazy. I love it's it. It's quite awesome. A manga like that where it's Damn, like, yeah, let's watch. Oh, uh, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. She's a like they're a Ryaju and I'm a whatever yeah. beta cuck male or whatever. That's like the Ryaju is like the popular kid and that's like the, the term for popular kid in yeah. Japan. There's Valley quite Girl. Few, quite a few manga. Like Definitely that. feels like it's just funded by the Japanese government. It's like please, <laughs> please, please spot, stop please being anti-social weirdo. <laughs> you guys like games? You guys understand games? Kind of like a game. It's kind of like Smash Bros. Real life, real life. It's like you know it's kind of like a video game. <laughs> <laughs> you can please. Shit. All right. Please. Well, Shinzo what Abe, he's no longer prime minister. Uh, what percent confidence would you guys say that the guy that shot up all those Atlanta... What the fuck are you going parts? back yeah, to this for? Yeah, that is a good question. Uh, quiet this whole time. Dave's <laughs> just been thinking about uh, this. What, what, pers- what, what percentage? 70%? Can I look up a picture of him? No, or yeah, he's bad yeah. looking. He looks uh, 70%. fucking I'm going to say 70%. Okay. He's watched anime 100%. I'm going gonna, gonna to say 90%. Yeah. Really? No, because I'm saying 70% because okay. there's the chance that he's like... Not because, like, okay... I'm saying in the 30% chance that it was, like, incredibly racially motivated. You think the guy who's, like, fuck Asian women is, like, super <laughs> into anime? I don't know. True. That's, that's true. an interesting I, that, point. That's, what, I, if he, that's not necessarily accurate for, like, what I assume a killer That's what Tage is leading to. He's like, if he's such a weeb, why would he want to kill Asian women? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like, they're, that's not, the they're, real, not, that's... they're not perfect like my anime women, you that's, know, that kind of or thing. Or, like, I, they're Vietnamese, aren't they? And, What's Japan's and Vietnam's <laughs> relationship? Uh, I probably don't know. Pro- well, I mean, like, do you think there's some carryover of like Japan still thinking that they're like the the best I mean, fucking v- Asian? Uh, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. No, they're, yeah. they're they're probably they're still cocky as shit. Yeah. But I think maybe Chinese have surpassed them on that in some ways. Who knows? Um, I mean, at least, at least the Chinese that you interact with in yeah. America because they have enough money to come live in America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. also like... Oh, well, they have a lot of... The lot ones, of, like, China if you're working in like, a factory, you might not be like, yeah, this is the best country ever. <laughs> I've loved Like, this. China can back up that boast a lot more, but Japan's definitely... Like, every plot in anime is definitely like, all right... We're underpowered, but we're so skilled. Like our our yeah. like individual skills and knowledge is so much greater. And the most and recent um, th- that feels cultural. Zero punctuation. Yatsu was talking about like how every Japanese game has to like promote Japan in some way. Like it has to be like Japan, super fucking awesome. Look at all these places in Japan. They're so cool. The visit so unique. It's yeah. like. It's just because you guys are, like, a small country that you have to emphasize, like, all of these, like, unique yeah. differences about each part of Japan. <laughs> like, I wish that every state in the U.S. was like that. Where, like, yeah, Nebraska yeah. Like, this was, place is awesome. was, like, we are the Sand best Hills. fucking state in the entire world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think all the, uh, most states are like, this place fucking sucks. <laughs> I think, I, I mean, there's also a lot more, like, I feel like... Japan's a lot more, like, unified in terms of their, I guess, like, ideologies in general versus, like, America that is specifically made to be split, like, 50-50, basically. America, like, regional pride basically comes down to, like, what do you prefer, L.A. or New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's like, Are you a Mets fan? I don't want to live in either of these shitty cities. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it is a, uh, I think, I think Japan... Is the strongest and the coolest yeah, once they yeah. make Gundams. I agree. Yeah. They once if they, they, if they, they Gundam, they, no, they if they come out real. with a Gundam that can like cut down a Chinese <laughs> tank, uh, like in combat, I will be like, yeah, can Japan's stop the best. Before yeah, that, can, you guys. If it can like take m- multiple like steps around, like run around. Yeah, with it, no, if you can run, uh, I guess like you just like most of the time they just have like wheels on the feet, don't I, they? That yeah, are like omnidirectional. I do love like that big one that they made because they, they fucking made it in like a space station tower. Yeah, like the like the space this tower that they have for, like spaceships. They're like we're making a Gundam here, yeah. and it's I, gonna be awesome. That's honestly a better because as they're far like, as there's <laughs> less of a risk of it not working. <laughs> yeah, the fucking exactly. spaceship. Ex- yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, from now fine. on only topics that we don't have to cut yeah, yeah. i'm all sorry right. uh, my mom told your dad about the podcast <laughs> that was so funny <laughs> i just i went to like a family dinner and my dad was just like so you got a podcast <laughs> with uh with some some of the some of the guys from high school and i was like <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, do you come down to Nebraska every week? And I'm, or do you, yeah, do you oh come down God. to Omaha every week? And I was like, 
no. Just, like, sometimes I just do it through, like, Discord. Oh. He was like, what? And I was like, it's like Zoom. <laughs> the so. halfest lie ever yeah. told. <laughs> and, but yeah, so I was just, he was like, so what's it called? And I was like, okay. He's going to either, like, go to my sister and find out what it's called, or, like, he'll, fi- he'll find it out. Because, like, eventually it'll root back to me. And so I was like, it's Chapo called... Chapo Trap House. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the... Br- I was like, it's called the Brown Bricks Podcast. Uh, just go for it. <laughs> it's whatever. It's too late. And it's also like, yeah, yeah like, you're right. Adult, I'm, I'm 20 yeah, years old. <laughs> if you tell him with no shame, that gives you the highest probability of him going, oh, cool, and never actually yeah, listening yeah. to it. Yeah, no, that's, well, he was like, oh, um. If you well, go like, uh, I don't want to say, and then he finds out, he's like, I, you know, listen to an episode. Yeah, no, well, because the next week he was like, oh, well, I didn't actually listen to any last week, but I, I downloaded the one that you weren't on, and, uh, oh. I'll, I'll listen to that one. <laughs> the one that so, we're not so on. you guys What a thing gonna... for your dad to say to you, I've decided to listen to the one that you you're not part yeah. of it. <laughs> well, I think he was like, he wanted to get like the vibes. No, he wanted to get My mom more. has been telling fucking anyone. Yes, 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 yes. Why? Why? Tell her to cut that shit out. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm like, no, that's... no. I asked her, like, why do you do that? Like, I was like kind of upset because I told her not to tell her parents. <laughs> I, I, I explicitly it, yeah. said that. I'm like, you. don't tell Jack's mom and dad, please. <laughs> I, I think, think they she were... saw him at like a store or yeah. something. It was like, Oh, did you know about the podcast? And she's like, oh, shit. She called me, like, literally right after that. Like, oh, fuck. That's so funny. Look, to give listeners an idea of the amount of shame I feel that I do a podcast, right, I will offer my mom edibles. But I will not tell her that this is is what I do every week. I will go... I will be like, Jackson had painkillers left over from his surgery, <laughs> and I took some, and I will not tell her. I took the yeah, There are I multiple points where, like, roommates will be like, I will be, like, blackout drunk, and then the next morning they're like, hey, will you send me that link to that podcast you told me about that you're on? And I'm like, ah, eventually, no, yeah. Be, yeah, sure. No, my mom will tell literally fucking anyone she can get her hands I, on. Any of her family friends. That's, fri- any, that's like, good Any of her friends, anybody. She told my grandparents the other day because we were at my grandpa's birthday party. I told my grandma, I'm like, you, you don't want to hear me. You don't want to hear me <laughs> talk like that. It's even funny because it's not even something where it's like, well, they'll, they'll hear like us saying fucking stuff, but also like, like the amount of like boring no. shit to them we talk about. Like yeah. imagine them being like, yeah. I'll sit through 20 the minutes and then talk episodes, about the anime. The first few episodes, there's nothing like too body, I remember. Like, but it's also like the first few episodes are about VTubers and Christian. Yeah, it's like, it's just like, you're not going to understand. If you watch a later episode, you're going to hear me say some deplorable shit yeah. that you're going to be like, oh my god, my little Jackson is saying this stuff? We what should honestly life? take episodes one through three off of all platforms. <laughs> they had, yeah, they, we still get views on those. All right, Every no, week. our first episode is by far our best performing one, and we should fucking get rid of it. <laughs> no, we still get like four four or five views every week for the VTuber episode. I think that is just because of the first one, though, right? Well, it's, it's also, no, I think it's because of the SEO on it. Really? People yeah, don't think it's like all the they looked us up and I like, think people look up VTuber episode. podcast because they heard of that one podcast that had the VTuber on it, and then they find yeah, us yeah, sometimes. Yeah, and that's. That. Then they okay. see, like, in the thumbnails, like, We don't like, kind have of funny. any VTubers yeah. on the podcast. Well, it's, it's also, about. like, a weird niche enough topic that, like, people will look it up and they'll actually yeah. click on what you're doing. I know. You When you go on Anchor FM and, like, you, like, highlight, like, your views for, like, this week, it shows you, like, your top three performing episodes. And it's always and the episode one episode. is always in there. Like, our I, most I recent think we one. Have an introduction and the, our our yeah, most two so. recent ones and then episode one. We can put a trailer on it where we can splice yeah. together, like, the best moments is from that, our episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can put a trailer and that'll, like, come at the top oh, and cool. be, like, trailer oh, yeah. for this and it's, like, yeah. a one minute thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're be, be, like, the MCU. We're gonna enter phase two soon. Yeah, actually, we. Okay, <laughs> is Anchor not the weirdest shit where it's, like, season one? Like, yeah, it's, like, like season one. podcast. If you do podcasts in season you're a Fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like a weird. It's like, like, look, we're already self indulgent enough by the very virtue that we're doing a fucking. Time <laughs> yeah. You're gonna put it into seasons. Let's not let's not pretend like having our podcast every Sunday well, is like an event. To where it's like uh, we're actually, it, Brown Bricks season two is a little bit like Sopranos season two, where it really starts to hit its yeah. stride. Well, it's like it's one of those things where it's like well, podcasting so tiring that we're gonna take a break for a couple of months, but we'll be back with season. two two of the brown brick spot it's like are you kidding me yeah, if we ever take an extended break maybe we'd make a season 
season, but... Or maybe we'd just or not maybe come we wouldn't back. give a shit. <laughs> or we wouldn't come back. Yeah, exactly. Or we'd just restart. Uh, there could be a reason we would take an extended break besides not wanting to do it ever again. Oh, yeah. Know? No, but that that extended break would be cut down by one week because of that bonus episode that we got <laughs> sitting around. I wanted to record more bonus episodes so we could just throw down like five episodes oh, yeah. <laughs> that's well that's the problem with the youtube is that like yeah. a lot of the times when you upload like really long things back to back not like back to back i tried to space them out in the most recent one but like when you do that they get terrible traction because yeah, everybody yeah. who's like seeing it in their subscriber box is not like i'm not gonna watch two three out like three two one hour videos like two days in a row seo talk fascinating <laughs> um yeah, speaking of VTubers, I've been watching since I've been playing oh, a lot more. Play the jingle. Jack and Jackson VTuber Corner. Apex Legends. I've been watching Aqua play. A oh lot of yeah, Apex. yeah. And I watched a guy do like he did like English VOD reviews of like Amelia Watson and Aqua. Oh really? It was super interesting to watch because I'm like, like I like Apex Legends and I want to get yeah. better at it. But, like, he was very complimentary of, like, Watson's play. Because Watson's not bad. Yeah, she's not bad. She's, she's not just bad at like, Apex. She's just kind of, like... She's the most gamer of mid, gamers. Mid-tier, like, mid to high-tier player. Aqua's fucking insane at Apex. She's really, really? fucking good at Apex. Okay, like, she's yeah. trying... It's like, she's at high diamond. There's, like, ranked tiers uh-huh. in Apex. She's high diamond trying to get in, like, master's tier. Uh-huh. And then only... The only tier above master's is, like, Apex, uh, Apex Predator, which is, like, only 750 people. Oh, shit, But so she's yeah, pretty I mean, fucking good. Yeah, well, I assume, because, like... Every Every time that I see anything on Aqua, it's just, like, she's always, like, killing it at Apex. Like, the only two clips that I see are, like, people, her slaughtering people, or, like, the one guy who donated her, like, the really good shield or whatever, and didn't <laughs> know who she was. I was watching her earlier today, and I just watched her catch a dub, like, very, like, easily. Casually, yeah. Yeah, and, like, her whole team was down, and she was just, like, fucking killing yeah. fools. I'm like, oh my god, this Dude, is that's so awesome. fucking good. It is funny, you don't think about it. Like, you think with, with like, VTubers, you think, like, oh man, they're VTubers, like, of they course, must suck yeah, they games. must suck. They must be like valley girls or whatever. Yeah. But there's pro- there's a high probability that those people are people who like have never talked to anyone before and just were like insanely devoted to games and stuff. And then they are just like, well, I guess I can be a VTuber because yeah. there's a lot of anonymity that comes with that. So. It's something to do with my fucking crazy like shut in brain. It's like women who are good at games, I like are way more attractive to that, me. Well, that's definitely... That's something where it's like, I have this in common with yeah. them. And well, not even just in common. Like, you're good... Like, if you were, like, bad at the game, you, like, play yeah. it, where, like, we could talk about it, but I'm like, ah, you're not good. Yeah, it's also, like... I mean, you're not, like, a carpenter, so you're just, like, you see a chair, and you're like, well, that, that probably took some effort. But, yeah. like, when you see a person at High Diamond and Apex, and you've played Apex before, you're yeah. like, that's fucking impressive. That's like, that's an actual achievement in my mind. Cool as fuck. Yeah. Whereas, like, oh, I'm really good at, like, making handbags. It's like, I could conceive how that would be hard, <laughs> yeah. but I don't, like, actually know. So I can totally understand that. Uh, but it's also, like, I feel like... Uh, you you'd be it's a that's a that's a hard market to break into. Oh my god, that was vicious. That was a vicious fucking every, slap. I like how every time that we get near up. the end of the podcast, you guys always are just like you guys like run out of patience and start fucking with each other. <laughs> like there's multiple points where I'm like listening to the episode and I'm trying to like end it off on a bit and then you guys will just start fucking with each other. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's uh it's pretty rude of us. It's pretty. It's really rude of you to interrupt our VTuber discussion about video games. If the VTuber discussion Uh, doesn't end with me slapping Tage's ass, how will it end? Yeah, it's true. It won't. We'll just talk about it forever. This will just be. We'll cut this out and turn it into another bonus episode. VTuber two electric boogaloo. You could make a VTuber compilation. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would be. (laughs) Imagine having our channel uh, trailer as a VTuber VTuber compilation. I mean the. The obvious really conclusion of all this is just that we all have our own VTuber avatar, and that's how yeah. the podcast exists. Or the obvious <laughs> conclusion of this would yeah, not be we, we, we change how we YouTube rename right? things. So instead of being like, oh, this episode heavily focuses on 9-11, we'd just be like, Aqua, an analysis. <laughs> just like talk about like me, like we just have it where it's just like, oh, we're talking about VTubers this week. And then all we talk about is like vampire rules when and it comes to raping women. Gorilla pussy. Okay, just turn on the light while you're up. It is dark. Yeah. Yeah, we can 
We yeah, probably speaking call it of gorillas, Does anyone have any uh, ending bits? How many bars are we at? Uh, so we're, we started, oh, like, talking to Matt. Out. Yeah, Cage we started talking to Matt. Me. We have about 400 <laughs> bars to cut out. Actually, probably closer to, like, 500. It's probably, but... like, 900 bars we gotta cut out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we're probably, like, 500, I'd say. So we're at, like, two, uh, like, 2,200 bars. So, I mean... Oh, we got a while. We got some time. We, we, got, like, we, we go. got, like, 100 bars or so. No, we got, no, like... if we have 500 we got like 800 bars to We're at 2,200. Oh, no, no, we're at uh, 2,700. Oh, That's okay. what I'm saying. I'm accounting for that. Oh, I'm, okay. I did that mental math. Uh, like, yeah. No. Okay. No, let's... Uh, let's do some more. Let's give our guests, uh, guess our fans, a uh, uh, improv. An improv. No, no. no. <laughs> that was we good. can talk about something that else was, before we talk about That was good one time, kind All right, of. I got something else to bring up. I have something else in my notes that I remember we okay. can talk about. Oh, I had something <laughs> okay. I want to bring up, too. Oh, okay. You go You're first. You're a greengrocer. Uh, <laughs> you go first. Mine's not very mine's interesting. Mine doesn't have that much to say either, but we have raccoons in our attic, which okay, is Okay, that fun. is very That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, I mean, what do you do about that? <laughs> well, well, how many raccoons do you think? Uh, I don't know, two? Uh, I just, when I'm sleeping, I hear them skittering what the around. Fuck shit, dude, do you guys I can, shit? I can how? actually cut out the rap part of that and just have you guys <laughs> say, just this, <laughs> so you can some be... fucking coons in our attic. <laughs> well, yeah, I, just pieces. Yeah, we have some vinegars in our attic. That's cool. Huh. What do you get? Do you guys keep shit in your attic at home? I mean, you have to. I've if you're never, not using it, you might as well use the storage. I have like, never why, why been in the attic in my current home. Yeah, I guess right. you don't have to. You don't yeah. have to do anything. You don't have to drive a car. You don't have to use well, the storage. Do... No, you can just store shit in is, your house. Is there a way yeah, to really get out of this space up there? Do they just what do you do? Where do you stop? Where are you I, going? Don't look I'm at him. Why, why, are you, why are you starting a separate conversation with me when they're having a conversation? <laughs> well, I'm really How do you think this works? This fucking <laughs> raccoon story. You fucking <laughs> bitch. All right. How many, uh, how many, okay. raccoons, how many are raccoons do you have? <laughs> I don't know. And how the fuck do they just fucking live up there? Do they get fucking look, get outside? They crawl dude. in through some fucking hole in the roof or some shit. I don't know. We had a guy come in. He set up a cage that will <laughs> trap them. Oh, guy. it's one of those ones that like you can go out of it. We asked our neighbor. In. He's like, I know how to handle this. And he set up some cages in there that will close on them. Then he came in with a flare gun and he burned all the hijabs <laughs> off the raccoons. And then they're like, oh. Yeah. I'm trying yes. to. Yes. It's, it's good, called a good reference. Call back, it's called back. It's called the Ouroboros cycle. Yeah. It's, that's, that's how I. That's a callback somehow. It uh, comes full circle. Well, the only thing I had to mention was that somebody random added me on Line, which is like the... Line. Why? I have Line Why? because <laughs> I was in Japanese club at UNO, and all the Japanese students used Line, so I had Line. So I yeah, that's the same reason I had WeChat, them. to get some Chinese and I, pussy. And I used to, like, I literally didn't have my ex-girlfriend's phone number, we just had each other's Line, so we would text each other on Line. That's easier, that's an easier break-off, then. What ethnicity was she? She was ir- Iranian. Not acceptable. <laughs> okay. Jackson, that's how he knows that the burn off the hijab <laughs> she was pa- strap She was Palestinian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jackson um, had a girlfriend only by vampire. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... But I had I have line and somebody random added me online because you can add friends online. That's how you get contacts. And so somebody, they were their name was like like Lauren Fingers, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I for sure don't know anybody named. That's a good fucking name. I for yeah. sure don't know anybody named Fingers. Okay. Okay. Would, fi- would Phineas Fingers not be Phineas <laughs> Fingers? <laughs> So, Phineas Fingerling. So I, they, they texted me hi, and I'm like, I text them back, who the who is this? And I'm like, who? I'm like, this might be someone who just, like, because we get people joining like the 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 whatever like the club but, like every so often like uh, the Japanese club, and then they uh, add you, and they're added to like the group chat or whatever, and I'm like, oh, they might just be adding like whoever's yeah. in the group chat to their line. So I'm like, who is this? And they're like. Hey, do you want to, uh, I just decided to add someone random online. Do you want to text with, like, some 21-year-old, 21 slash F? Of uh, course. And I'm like, oh, That seems legitimate. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why would you yeah. choose the name, like, 
fingers as your last name if you're a bot trying to like yeah. connect to someone. This is such an unrealistic last name. Well, I That's feel like, why they chose it. Yeah. They kind of disarm you with the fingers. <laughs> They're just like, well, it's so unrealistic that no I bot didn't would add them the back. Like name. they yeah. could just text me and I won't add them back and I'm like blocked. What yeah. the fuck ever, man. I just thought that, that name was pretty <laughs> funny. The way that you sequenced that, I thought you, like, they blocked you. Like, you're yeah, talking, yeah. you're like, hell yeah. And they're just like, ah, this no. guy, the bot, is just He's like, weird. affirmative. Will not send nudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I didn't mention, did I mention this on the pod last time? There's this, like, I get people who add me on Snapchat because I have it on my Tinder. There's this chick who added me on Snapchat who just keeps sending me, like, nude photos Hell or whatever. Yeah. Well, like, not, like, fully nude, but occasionally, like, nude pictures. Yeah. But, because she's, like, wanting to bait me into, like, buying her premium Snapchat <laughs> or her OnlyFans or whatever. And I'm just like, the stuff you're sending me is plenty good. Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, no, you're... <laughs> I'm not going to buy anything more. You're... you're I've already great, seen your tits. Yeah, you're a great and marketer. That's, <laughs> that's, that's all I need. Well, I, you're Jack. a bad marketer because you're giving me up, giving it up yeah. too much. Jackson's like the guy who at Jimmy John's, when I give him his stuff, he's like, I also had a Coke. It's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no. Nah, but I just, you just give it to him. So that's, that's the same, leave. that's the same person who put out the Puyo Puyo Tetris demo, <laughs> where it's basically just all the things that you'd want in the normal game. And so you, yeah, why so would you I ever buy, why well would you ever buy that. the full Puyo Puyo Tetris yeah. game? I have it all right here. And by that I mean Puyo Puyo and by pussy. that I mean your fucking tits and ass, bitch. Yeah, that's what I I mean. have them in my brain now. Like the L, the L block is the vagina of the Tetraminos, right? Yep. Yep, that's what that is. No, I think it's probably the, the, lo- the, just the, the singular long No, long but like, it's, it goes talk. around. Like, <laughs> It yeah. goes around. That's yeah, what no, a pussy it, does. It goes around. Well, yeah, no, it'd be it'd be curved. It'd be like it'd a, be curved like that. Yeah, it'd be like an the L. Pussy be curved. <laughs> the pussy be curved. Okay. What that's the why fuck it's the are you talking about? You know, and that's why the the boobs are the poyos. Okay. All right. Should we just send it there? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah we're, the, we're uh, done.